1912, the Socialist Party had 34 mayors throughout the United States, as well as officials in 169 cities. In the early 20th century, socialism in America reached its peak, culminating in five-time socialist presidential candidate, Eugene V. Debs. Debs was a founder of the American Railway Union and, in 1894, organized what became known as the Pullman Strike, involving workers in 27 states. For this, Debs served six months on federal charges for an injunction issued by the court against the strike. This would only serve to cement Debs' image as a revolutionary of the working man. He once remarked, I would be ashamed to say that I had risen from the ranks. When I rise, it will be with the ranks. President Woodrow Wilson, who in 1916 ran on a platform of staying out of the Great War in Europe, quickly changed his tune when it looked as though Britain and France may lose and thus would be unable to repay the tremendous sums of money lent to them by American businessmen such as Rockefeller, Chase, and Morgan. Wilson called on leading liberal intellectuals, including Edward Bernays, who was Sigmund Freud's nephew and wrote the book Propaganda, to use their understanding of crowd psychology and whip a passive U.S. population into an anti-German frenzy in only six months. It was the first state propaganda commission, the Committee for Public Information, and it was so successful that Hitler's Reich Minister of Propaganda would use it as his model, but go much farther. Debs called out the capitalist class for trying to send the working men and women of the U.S. across the ocean to recoup the banker's bad investment. In 1918, Debs gave an incendiary speech where, among many other controversial statements, he said, you do not need the capitalist. He could not exist in an instant without you. You would just begin to live without him. You do everything and he has everything. And some of you imagine that if not for him, you would have no work. As a matter of fact, he does not employ you at all. You employ him to take from you what you produce, and he faithfully sticks to his task. If you can stand it, he can. And if you do not change this relation, I'm sure he won't. You make the automobile, he rides in it. If it were not for you, he would walk, and if it were not for him, you would ride. Debs was jailed again for this speech under the Sedition Act, which had passed earlier that year because too many people were raising questions about the war. But he continued to fight. In 1920, he ran for president from prison as inmate 9653 and was still that popular, even though confined to a prison cell, garnered 3.41% of the popular vote. Eugene V. Debs, arguably the most popular socialist in America and hero to the working men and women of his time, has been written out of most of U.S. history.